Hey everybody, Robert with RC Archery. I've got a different video for you today. This is actually a preview of one segment from a new instructional video that I have for sale on my website. And this new instructional video is all about holding steadiest on target. I'm gonna give you every single one of my tips all in one single place. Some of them you've seen here on my YouTube channel, but a lot of them I say for the archers that I coach and the ones that I work with one-on-one. -on -one. So you're gonna get behind the scenes footage that not many have seen all in one place. Now again, this is one segment of it. This is the shot execution segment of it. And it's something that I wanted to give you as a preview to let you see about this video. Now, if you'd like to purchase it, down in the link in the description of this video will be, um, Hey everybody, Robert with RC Archery. This is a different video than normal. This is actually going to be a preview for an instructional video that I now have for sale on my website. This new instructional video is all gonna be about holding steadiest on target. This is going to give you behind the scenes tips that only the people that I coach and work with one-on-one -on -one get, along with every single step-by-step -step building process to get you to hold the steadiest that you can on target. I'm gonna start with your stance. I'm going to go over how you draw the bow, the alignment of the body, how to find your perfect draw length, and your loop length. I'm also going to go over the type of shot execution, which is the segment that you're going to see here in this video. I'm going to go over setting up the bow, it tuning the bow in order to help you hold steadier, and some little tips and tricks with cam timing, with um, the back wall on the bow, with let off percentages, holding weight, stabilizer setup, and a whole bunch more. So that way you can have everything that you can possibly need. If you'd like to purchase this video, down in the description of this one will be the link to my website. It's rcarchery.com. You can find that under the instructional videos tab along with a lot of the other parts that I sell on there. And you can also find Conquest Archery Stabilizers on there. That's a new addition. I hinted to that in the video that I'm selling now, the instructional video, and then on some of my previous YouTube videos in the past couple weeks, I've made a switch. There are definitely superior in a lot of different ways. I'll have a full review coming out for you to be able to see exactly what I'm looking at with these stabilizers and what they can offer for you. And if you'd like to purchase any of them, I'd be glad to be the dealer for you. You can find that on my website. And I'll also put some discount codes for you here in the description of this video too. Thank y'all. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy this segment of the new uh, instructional video that I have for sale. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is actual shot execution. This is the way that we're working through our release and what we're doing with our body in order to maintain the tension that we've built up in that system that allows us to hold steadiest. Now, there's multiple different ways to execute with your shot, and there's lots of different ways that we can manipulate releases if we want to. But I'm going to go over a couple different ways that I use personally and that I teach based on the way that an archer naturally wants to work through a shot. Um, one of them is just going to be pulling through the shot. Obviously, pulling through the shot takes a lot of the variables out. You don't have to worry about what you're doing with your hand, manipulation on the release, movements. If you're an archer with some anticipation issues or some shot uh, target panic and jumpiness, this is going to be a solid style for you to be able to use. And basically, what you're looking at is pulling to where you develop the amount of tension that looks best on target, and then allowing yourself to be just slightly less than that. So almost peak and maximum where you need to be, but just a little you know, below that. Still gonna be very steady, you're still gonna be good on target, but this allows you to continually expand and pull and get to the steadiest point when that shot trips and adjust your release, whether it be a tension, um, a trigger or a hinge release to where it fires within that window and that range. The second style is relaxation of our hand as we're pulling back. Now this style works really well on an archer that needs to get to their absolute steadiest point before they start their shot. It helps with what you're looking at and it helps you with your visualization cues. This is gonna allow you to pull and take up the slack from the hand relaxing and moving and it keeps you firm and keeps you steady on the wall. The movement that you need when you're relaxing through your shot is very minimal. So you wanna adjust your release, especially if it's a hinge release, to where you don't need a lot of rotation. Fast clicks work really well in this moment. Um, knowing the release works really well in this moment. That's something you really have to work on. 
And it works really well for an archer that maybe has a limb stop, um, you know, or just a really firm back wall that can't continually pull. The last method is using the hand to continually pull into the shot. This is the method that I personally use, and it's very slight and minimal, so it's not fisting the release into your palm, and it's not creating a lot of movement, it's not changing my anchor point by pushing my face, or my hand further away from my face, rather. It's just working through the shot, whether it be a hinge where I'm kind of pulling in, and it, it, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm visually focusing on pulling the release and the loop into my hand and into my shoulder, or I'm looking with the thumb button to be pulling the thumb and the hand and everything back. I'm gonna give you a shot down range on target really quick to let you see what that looks like, give you an idea of what I'm doing with my shot execution, and some visual cues here to look at is your follow through. You wanna see what you're doing at follow through. If you have to drop the arm, um, you're creating enough tension where there's not enough resistance, not enough front weight. If you're moving your arm left and right, you could have a little bit of issues with your stance. Look for cues like that as far as what you're doing here and it'll really help you downrange on target with your shots. So you can see bow arm stand up, uh, stayed up rather. Um, release hand comes back to my shoulder. I use that as my reference point. I want it to come right to the top of the shoulder. It means that I didn't get weak on my shot and it dropped straight down and I didn't over pull and come back through. That's my visual cues when it comes to shot execution. Mm -hmm.